Hi, my name is Christopher Borawski. I'm expert manager in Smash Poland. Today, I would like to talk to you about our basic double-sided mower, KDD 941. Machine has a standard category three and category two three-point hitch attachment. So first, we attached lower link arms, then we hook up the top link. With this top link, you can set and adjust your cutting height of both units. The next step would be to put a power takeoff shaft. Remember that in some cases, you will need to cut the PTO shaft to a certain length. Detailed instruction how to do it, you can find in operator's manual. KDD 941 is our basic setup which needs three hydraulic sections in the tractor. Those two hydraulic hoses operate both cutting units on the headland. Those choke valves here adjust drop speed or rising speed of cutting units. Main hose with ball valve installed puts the machine to transport position and the valve works as additional safety feature. This wire with seven pin plug is for road lights. Machine is attached to a tractor, PTO is installed. Then we need to tie transport latch cord. The next step would be setting a headstock height from the ground. Before we do that, we need to lift support stands up. One of the most important settings is the distance between the ground and the lower link pin. It should be set for 50 centimeters, which is one foot and eight inches. KDD 941 is our basic spring suspended model. Suspension is based on two sets of coil springs, two on each side. Ground pressure can be adjusted only in transport position by retracting or extending the spring rod. Setting the ground pressure, it can be done only when the machine is in transport position. When you put this pin in that position, the machine is gonna be heavy. When you put the pin in the lower hole, the machine is gonna be lighter. KDD mowers, on the left cutting unit, they have a adjusting assembly. It's used for fine tuning the pitch of left cutting unit. The other one is fixed. In machine toolbox, you can find a special spanner. It is used to get to a really tight places. KDD mowers are equipped with the hydraulic breakaway, which protects cutting units from damage. Hydraulic breakaway is preset in our factory. Any interference with the breakaway may lead to the machine damage. In KDD mowers, power is transferred via PTO shaft through this central gearbox to the left and right hand side cutting unit. Central gearbox is a oil operating unit
fully enclosed. It has three plugs. One, two, and three. That's the check plug. You check your oil level. That's the breather. And you can pour your oil through it. At the bottom, you have a drain plug. From central gearbox, power is transferred further to a cutting unit gearbox. It is the same oil operating gearbox as all of the gearboxes in Samash machinery. It has a breather at the top and you can top up your oil through that opening here. Then you have a check plug here and drain the plug at the bottom. We recommend to change the oil after first 50 hours, then after 500 hours or at least once a year. Oil used in those gearboxes is 80 way 90. In KDD 941, we have two PTO shafts. Each of them is equipped with the friction and overrunning clutch. Before starting operation, we need to put the side guards down and install protective canvas. From the top, you fasten it with those buckles here. From the underside, you need to strap it down to the railings. You need to keep in mind that the canvas needs to go in between a railing underneath and the front plate here. If you want to adjust your swath width, you can do it with those two wheel uh, swath guides. They can be adjusted up and down, left and right. In Samash machinery, all the grease points are marked with this decal here. We suggest to grease all the points before every day's work. So finally we got to the hayfield. We want to start working. First thing what we need to do is to disengage transport latches. To do so, you need to pull those cords. Once we have everything hooked up, I will tell you about the hydraulics from the tractor. Section number one and section number two correspond with two hoses with choke valves installed on it. They operate left or right cutting unit. Those two sections need to be in float. That's the headland position on the left cutting unit. That's the headland position on the right cutting unit. The third section is used to put the machine to transport position. Once we have two sections on the ground, we start the PTO and slowly increase RPMs until they reach a thousand. We can start working. We talked about settings and adjustments on this KDD 941 mower. If you have any questions or further concerns regard any aspect, always consult operator manual or contact Samar Service Department. Thank you.